is the Slime Face Challenge. We need to get this American football from the start line here through the slime to the end zone over there. The first one to do this wins. <laughs> that sounds well easy. Wait, why is it called Slime Face? Because we only use our face. <laughs> what, no hands at all? No, goggles on and get ready to hold your breath. Let's go. It's time to face the slime. Let's do this. Get a bit of cheek in there. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I can't see the ball. Okay, okay. I can't okay. see what I'm doing. I can doing. see it. There's so much slime. Do you know what I was thinking, Layla? Uh, it would be really easy if you had a trunk like an elephant. Do you know what? That's so true. Wait, <laughs> we're over halfway already. This is so quick. This is so oh. fun, Frankie. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. Bring it home. Oh, wait, Bring it home. Cross, Bring it, Renzo. I did it. I did it. Oh. 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 I can see now. Put it there. Yeah. Yeah. Layla, yeah? you've got something on your face. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> my skin feels all lovely and soft after that. You just can't beat a good slime facial. We are now joined in the studio by former American football team GB captain and Britain's first ever female American football coach, Phoebe Schechter. Oh, thank you guys so much for having me. I'm so excited to be able to talk to you both today. Thanks for joining us. Phoebe, you've got so many strings to your bow, but let's start from the top. How did you first discover your love for American football? To be honest, when I first got involved, it was because I wanted to make friends. And what better way than to participate in sport? And I feel so fortunate that I still have all those same friends from 10 years ago. What was it like to be the captain of the women's team for Great Britain? You know what, it is such an honor to have your peers and your teammates put you in that position to represent them, but then also to be able to wear that Union Jack and represent Great Britain. It is such an honor and something that I will remember forever. You're also Britain's first ever female American football coach, which is an amazing title to hold. How much does it mean to you? You know what, that means so much because I think there's the element of being the first is always incredible, but most importantly, it's making sure that I'm not the last. And by that, I mean that I hope others have other opportunities because of the jobs that I've done. And I want to make sure I send that elevator back down. That's really cool. How important is it to have a positive mindset when it comes to sport? It's really important because who you are on the sporting pitch is essentially who you are in real life. And we're all gonna hit some hurdles at times. And so making sure that we can push through it and then more importantly, help our teammates through some of those times because we wanna all work together. We're like cogs in a machine. And we wanna make sure we all do our job to reach our goal together. You went to Germany to watch the most recent game. How was it and who are you rooting for? Well, there was a lot of singing, <laughs> some Sweet Caroline, and it was incredible. I mean, I have to be non-biased in my job, so I was supporting Colts and Patriots equally. But honestly, the German fans, the food, the music, the vibe was incredible. Now, which Nickelodeon character do you think would make the best quarterback and why? Ooh, I think... Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles would be the best because he's strong, he's fast, and he's a really great leader, which is so important when you're in a team environment. Awesome, he was my favorite as well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> great answers. Thank you guys so much, you were amazing. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs>